Okay, I'm basically an electronic engineer. I did my graduate graduation in uh, '75. Then I, I got the master degree and the PhD degree in engineering. I'm just an engineer. And uh, we, at that time, in our university, University of São Paulo, we became to, to be more and more involved in, in uh, academic networking. Then I moved to a foundation, a state foundation that gives grants to the students, more or less, uh, more or less like the NSF in Brazil. And at that time, there was a, a strong pressure to connect the, the Brazilian community back to the to the. Uh, networking to academic networking. At that time, we, we tried to connect first to BitNet. It was an old uh, time network, uh, very simple, and very good for text. And also to HEPNet, High Energy Physics Network, a network based on DECnet, a protocol from a, a main uh, <coughs> manufacturer of computers. This was in 88. In 89, we regi registered the .br as a top-level domain to have the uh, possibility of having na names, good names for, for the machines. But uh, only in 91, in, in January of 91, we got connected to the, to the internet via uh, our connection to the Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory in Batavia, Illinois. The first connection from Brazil to internet was done in, uh, in the LNCC, this Laboratory for Computer uh, uh, Scientific uh, uh, Calculations. This laboratory uh, connected to the University of Maryland. At the same time, one month uh, later, uh, FAPESP, uh, where I was working at that time, uh, uh, pressured basically by physicists, the people from physics uh, has a lot of, of <coughs> involvement in this pressure, we connected to the Fermi National Laboratory because there is a lot of physics, of physicists, of Brazilian physicists uh, working there, and we have some good contacts there. Then we connected to, to that laboratory and also get HEPNET as, as a side effect because HEPNET is a, is a very powerful network using DECnet and was much more, much more powerful than BitNet, for example. And then uh, uh, Fermi told, told us that uh, they will live in BitNet in some time and going uh, in, toward the internet. Then we asked them, please uh, take us with you when you go to, to, to the internet and this happened at, at the end of the uh, 1990 uh, then fair uh, become part of the energy science network and we went together and this was the first uh, brazilian connection to have tcpip uh, uh, at that time january of 91. yeah the brazilians are not aware of, of new things they are <coughs> eager to, to adopt new technologies and new tools they like it very much to, to exchange uh, opinions and to send data to everyone. No, no big deal with privacy. The Brazilians are not uh, very fond of privacy. They are open to everybody. Then we will have an important event in 92. In 92, we have the ECHO 92 in Rio de Janeiro, and we received the, the visit of many researchers in that area and many uh, people from social uh, movements and social networks. And we provided uh, uh, to this, all, all these people people, uh, uh, connection to the, the networks, and of course the internet was the preferred choice. Then it was clear for all of us, the Brazilians, that the way to go forward is to use more and more inter internet. And then, you remember in 92, 93, the web become a reality, and this brings a lot of new newcomers to the to network with, with the pictures, the pictures of their dogs, their families, and so and so, and, and this uh, provided a lot of of strength and a lot of, of new push toward the networking because in the beginning we are, we are just the academics using for exchange data on thesis and so. Uh, yeah, the problem with uh, people who are involved with computers and uh, things like that is that we really don't have uh, commercial hours. We have to be uh, alert all the time because we may have problems in the middle of the night or maybe in the weekends or so. But, but this kind of adrenaline, this kind of uh, it's good for, for, for you to keep you awake and keep you attend to the, to the things. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, the, the family sometimes uh, complains about that, but uh, it's the life. <laughs>